Hello and welcome back. Uh, this time we'll be installing CentOS 7 using a NetBoot ISO. Uh, we'll be installing a minimal server install. Um, once we're done with that, the next step or the next video will actually be the setup of CentOS 7 as a LAMP. And uh, through that I'll also be going through uh, disabling the firewall and going through some configuration changes at that point. But once again, this is just the bare minimal install of CentOS 7.0. Here we need to select the language. Uh, here you can see the exclamation points. Those are areas that need to be addressed before you can continue the install. Uh, so we need to uh, select an installation source. Since this is a net install, we need to actually go and select the uh, uh, repo that we want to get. And that's going to be at centos.org. Or mirror, I'm sorry. Mirror.centos.org slash centos slash seven slash OS backslash x86 underscore 64. Uh, this will be in notes and uh, there'll be links to it in the video uh, in the notes section. Uh, all you have to do is click on that and it'll get you the information or the steps will be there for this as well. Uh, once you have that information put in there, hit done. And it's downloading the package metadata, which is a good sign. And now we need to select what kind of software installation we want. As I mentioned before, we're just going to do a minimal install. Uh, at this point, you can select all the different ones that are there. You can have a desktop if you wanted to. You could have uh, you know, a storage server, all, all sorts of different things. But we're just going to do a, a plain minimal. So we'll select a minimal install. Click Done. Uh, once again, the caution or explanations go away. And we're going to do automatic partitioning. Uh, since this is just a plain install stuff like that, normally I would go through and do a manual, but we're going to do this real quick and uh, do the automatic part partitioning. Uh, make sure the drive is selected. Make sure automatic is selected. Click done. And uh, we're ready to begin install. Like I said, it'll be about 297 packages. Here you can add users if you'd like at this time. Uh, I'd highly recommend doing the root password, which we'll do right now. And the root password has been set. Okay, now that everything's been installed, we just need to make sure that the media's been removed and uh, click the reboot icon and we should be all set. Uh, like I said, there'll be another one for uh, installing LAMP on CentOS 7 and basically it'll be this install and then going through some other steps to make it uh, available. Uh, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed.